they knew there'd be rain, but no one expected this. 11, 12, 11, and her tears welled up, and her heart jumped to heaven. It was supposed to rain. But there's clear. It's so gratifying to see rain. This is Jim, engineer and yachtsman. I'm Adriana, Brazilian by birth and an author. And of course, this is Lucy, a Cocker Spaniel Poodle Cross, mascot of our boat, Kikamalu, a 42-foot Swanson. Our dream? To sail where the wind blows. Last time we met our son Jason, who arrived from the UK to spend Christmas with us. We took you to beautiful Broughton Island, shared our Christmas with you. And sadly, had to say goodbye. We didn't feel like celebrating New Year this year, because the fires that had caused so much death and destruction over the past months were still raging. Here in Port Stephens, we were constantly reminded of how quickly things could turn bad. The fires were up and down the entire east coast of Australia, so we couldn't sail north or south, but had to stay put. Which is fine. We were safe. And in a way, it gave us a good excuse to pause. Every place has its rhythm, its soul and spirit and it's hard to experience them in a day or even a week. You have to take the time to get to know the little things. The feel of the ground you're walking on, the quality of the sand and the way the sun hits it, the birds, the trees, the prevailing winds and the flow of the tides. And sometimes, the best way to get to know a place like Port Stephens is just to go to the beach and take it all in. Oh my gosh, look at this crab. <laughs> that fish is almost twice as big as he is. But most important of all is getting to meet so many great people. Here we are with women who sail Australia at Port Stephens. She said, Have a good one. Me, my darling, love to be. As soon as I get up in the morning and Lucy feels the coast is clear, she moves straight in. Straight into doggy heaven. When you're gone, I will keep the fires warm. When you're gone. <laughs> What's really great about being on a marina is that you get to do the jobs you ordinarily put off doing, like cleaning the back of the stove and oven. It's a bit of a pain because it has to come off its gimbals, but when it's done, it feels like a new galley. Also, Jim and I work while we sail, and being on a marina means we don't have to stop when our laptop batteries run low. In between, there are all the normal chores to do.
I don't really like provisioning, but someone's got to do it. Then there's the washing, which is a breeze in a marina that has a laundry, especially one as well managed as this one. Our deck level nav lights have been a bit dodgy over the years, so when we met some local marine electricians and we started talking about alternatives, we decided to replace them with sealed LED units made by Hella. These have got no filament to break and the LEDs hardwired inside a sealed waterproof housing. From all accounts, that system seems to be quite reliable. We also have a tricolour LED nav light at the masthead that we fitted when the mast was out, so we have two systems in case one fails. By the way, just a reminder that only one system must be used at a time, and definitely not both, as that becomes confusing and doesn't comply with the regulations. They knew there'd be rain, but no one expected this. I hope it the forecast was for storms. Oh my gosh. And yes, we got storms. That looks nasty. Storm after storm, hail the size of golf balls, followed by giant dust storms that engulfed entire towns and created hazardous breathing conditions in the cities. Think of the rain. Very welcome. <laughs> That's it why we're walking in it. <laughs> it's just great. It feels like all of nature comes alive when it rains. The flowers glisten, the birds come out, then people smile again. Yes, rain. We take it for granted, but when you don't have it for five years in some places, well, it's joyful.
It's so gratifying to see rain. Yes! You pray for the sunshine I pray for the rain You pray for the sunshine When it's raining out, I always feel like cooking, particularly pasta. I don't know, there's something comforting in the combination of sharp sweet tomato with the delicate texture of fettuccine. Or maybe it's just that it speaks to me of home. I hope it rains. I Flood me again. How's it look? Looks fantastic. We've yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> drowned in cheese. But as a wise American Indian proverb says, one shower does not make the crop. Woke up this morning and we have smoke again. More fires after some really, really hot temperatures yesterday. And the boat is covered in red dust. We have rain, but then of course temperatures rise and um, those fires that were smouldering start up again. Bomber 134 and its three American crew lost while fighting fires east of Cooma. To all the men and women and their families who have sacrificed their time and energy and in some cases their lives to fight these awful fires, we say thank you. We thank you for liking, subscribing and commenting below. Lucy loves hearing from you. If you want to be kept in the loop of our upcoming videos, don't forget to hit the bell button. And if you like what we do and want to support us further, why not become a patron and join the pack? It's easy, costs less than a cup of coffee, and you'll be helping us to keep putting out videos in the best way possible. Ciao for now. Thank you.